Assalamu alaikum, all of you. Good afternoon. Uh, this is our class introduction to linguistics, and that's me, the speaker and the lecturer, Dr. Han al Hassani. Uh, now, in this video, we have the last idea and chapter in introduction to linguistics that we could cover during this semester which is semantics and previously we talked in a general point of view about syntax but today we have to cover semantics and within this we have to understand the idea of semantics so here let's move on from your own book so I'm using now your book page number 319 chapter 9 so you can find it out easily from your own book here we have semantic definition semantics is a study of the meaning of words phrases and sentences so when we talk about the meaning it means we have to understand the relationship between words so maybe we show two words or two phrases and we have to understand what's going on with them or one sentence and what do we mean by this sentence so in semantic analysis there is always a term to focus on what the words conventionally mean rather than what an individual speaker might think they mean so we are looking for the meaning from our perspective and not about the intention so this is the point we are looking for um, uh, the second idea here we have meaning so in meaning we need to know exactly something which called referential meaning so referential which is or opposed with associative or emotive meaning so referential when we have like sometimes we have a reference when we use he she they and it refers to something and sometimes we put one adjective or one word and it refers to another word so referential meaning cover the basic like what some of the basic components like needle needle that we use to sew the clothes in english might include thin sharp steel instrument so we have to describe the needle as it is thin so the needle you can search about the meaning and know the picture يعني معناتها اللي هو الابره so we have needle and when we look at the needle we will find it thin sharp steel instrument so it should be steel and also sharp and thin these components would be part of the referential meaning of the needle and that's the first point we need to know about the referential meaning uh, this another example the hamburger ate by the boy the table listens to the radio so here we need to understand whether this is okay this is like what is it accurate logical or not when we say the table listens to the radio this is typically for sure uh, inaccurate it's not uh, okay because we know that the structure can be fine syntactic structure here when we talk about syntactic structure there is no problem about it but there is a problem of the meaning because here the horse is reading the newspaper this is for sure won't be happen in our earth and the hamburger ate the boy this is like kind of vice versa meaning and showing the opposite way of logical thinking and that's the way we need to understand in the meaning the second point here we have semantic features semantic features we are and uh, in general use it to describe something called intimate being with plus or negative or minus so plus and minus plus means you are with that uh, let's say feature or with that adjective or description 
and minus means it's against it. Let's look at the semantic features and how we can use it in general. Like let's say we have here animate, animate or animate, animate plus or minus human plus minus human, female plus and minus female. So how from that table we can understand table nine one. What do we mean? Like if we have four words, like let's say the words or five words or six words like we have six words here this is the main words and we have here the features this is called the semantic features the features that we need to check it out so animate here it means it has soul like it has uh, soul it is already with uh, like breathing or something so horse boy man girl woman all animate so it all has uh, kind of heart it has soul so it has body this is the way but for table it has no soul so we put minus human table already is not a human horse is not a human because it's an animal female we have here minus 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 until here we have plus because girl and woman already female adult horse it's already adult boy it's young it's not adult man it's adult and woman is adult okay so the point of semantic features you have to use with the exact words so this is the main words like i can give you in the questions and you have to both the or memorize these words animate human female adult and you can add more features but let's move to a check something more um, important or in detail let's look here in semantic rules we in semantics we have to understand the semantic rules as well semantic rules here it's about how we deal with the words only words together like we have two words and how we can identify the differences like sometimes we can have one word like uh, let's say we have beer and beer and what are the rules of it we hear it like like rules or what whatever but let's look at the rules from the perspective of the book we have here agent and theme so when we talk about semantic rules we have to understand that agent is what agent is the subject agent here يعني مش انه العميل لكن uh, it's about uh, the pronoun or the person who did the action so usually if we look at the agent in semantic rules we will find it like the boy they people uh, like we so all these words belong to agent the person who technically uh, uh, did that action theme it's another rule is taken by ball the entity that is involved in or affected by the action or the action here the theme can also be an entity that is simply being described so let's move on when we talk about theme we have to understand theme is about the object or object and agent is about subject so here subject here object let's move to the example here we have the boy kicked the ball so the boy is agent the ball is theme the wind blew the ball away the wind is the agent and the ball is what the theme and that's one of the first points of description so if we look at the uh, other point we have here instrument if the agent is another entity the boy cut the robe with an old razor and he drew the picture so the robe and old razor here this is an instrument razor this is a uh, machine or 
a tool that used to cut so he cut the rope yes but with what this is the instrument this is the instrument يعني الأداة اللي استعملها حتى يقطع الحبل كانت اللي هو old razor يعني كانت يعني من نوعية أداة حادة بتحلق للحلاقة he draw the picture with a crayon crayon يعني اللي هي الأوراق اللي ممكن تتطوى وترتسم فعنا that's the point of instrument so instrument is like machine that we use to do something so the boy here is agent and the robe is theme but with an old razor this is instrument okay we have here experiencer another semantic rule it means we have feeling like feel know hear enjoy something like what we have here another point the woman feels sad so feel this is experience did you hear that noise here when you hear it means you are experiencing something okay well so location is the final point about semantic rules location it means we have to add a location or city or whatever for example from chicago so when we say like uh, location source and goal so the source from Chicago a goal like New York like I send the gift from Chicago to the New York so Chicago is the source and New York is the goal the place that I need to send something to it um, okay so here some examples here we have uh, based on these examples we have Mary so a fly on the wall so Mary is what is experiencer with so so Mary agent experiencer as you experience so together experiencer theme because it's objective or object and here on the wall location on the wall she borrowed a magazine from George so she agent borrowed is out of it theme magazine from this is a source so you can read them by your own we have then lexical relations so lexical relation what are the relation between the two words we have uh, the very very important uh, part which call names names like why names because it ends with name if you look at the ending here we have nemi and here we have nemi and nemi so if you read it synonymy antonymy hyponymy and others but let's look at these words and what do we mean by lexical relation between the words here we have examples down synonym it means two words they are synonym to each other like when we say big and large when we say cab and taxi when we say car and automobile when we say almost and nearly when we say buy and purchase so all these words if they came in the sentence it means it's like uh, synonym or meaning for another word to ensure or emphasize the meaning that's one important part so synonyms can have that point about two words can describe each other antonym is the opposite if we have alive it means dead if you have big you have small if you have hot you have cold if you have buy you sell so this is the relationship between two words and it's called antonym but we have here one part which called gradable so uh, uh, one type of antonyms we have three types three main types gradable opposites along the scale non-gradable direct opposites and reversives so reversives it means the action of other so gradable like it's I'm smaller slower sadder colder shorter so here we have level if you say smaller let's say that we are five or three friends and I say I, I, I am smaller than Ahmed and 
Ahmed, Ahmed smaller than Ali. Uh, so here the point of it, or when you say not smaller, when you say like the clothes or the shoes is smaller than me. So slower, sadder. This point about gradable, non-gradable, it means very, uh, like something very strict, like what? My grandparents aren't alive. So live and dead, there is no grade. If you did, that's it. If you're alive, that's it. There is no uh, more point in between. That's the meaning of non-gradable. So if it's true, if it's not a true, it will be false. If it's false, it will not be true. If you are single, you will not be married. So the negative here, also reversives like back and back. When you add on, when you add like, uh, like lengthen, shorten, this is like of levels the levels tie and tie so that's a point for address or for dressing negative test okay hyponymy we have here hyponymy hyponymy like when we try to define a lot of elements under one word like let's say living thing like we have here living thing in general and we try to create a diagram this is an hyponymy you try to give many words under the same meaning like when you say creature the creature can be what can be animal bird insect when you say plant can be vegetable flower tree when you say vegetable it can be turnip flower rose tree pinion pine fir so all these examples it's under the hyponym it's very hard for me to give you a question about it but it's okay to know what is hyponymy um, Okay, we have prototype, prototype here when we have what? When we have the uh, word like bird and robin. So bird and robin, it's one category. So prototype, when you uh, try to figure something like bird has wings or the uh, in the bird we have robin, we have like penguin, we have ostrich so this is under the bird this is called prototypes you try to list uh, the types or the elements under one major aspect or one major creature or one major type this is the point of a prototype homophone homophone here it needs more understandable because homophone you pronounce it almost same so it has the same pronunciation so different written it, it was uh, like homophone you write it differently but you pronounce it similarly like we have here floor and floor floor the same we have meat and meat we have bail bail we have two 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 so so uh, all of these like examples has different or it have uh, like uh, these examples have and all of them has like a, a, a different written forms. We use the term homonyms when we when one form written or spoken has two or more unrelated meanings. So, therefore, in that point we have bat and bat. So bat sometimes in sport and bat can be used in flying creature. So we hear the word, but in the sentence it has, or the structure in the sentence, it gives us another meaning. Like sometimes we have pen, an instrument for writing, and pen can be in closed space. We have race, it means like contest of speed, like when we have race for cars. And race for ethnic group, that's the point about homonyms. Homonyms, homonyms here. You need to remember that spoken or written has uh, almost like unrelated meaning. It it totally typical, but the meaning is totally not typical, and it's based on the sentence structure and meaning. Polysemy here, it means you give one word, and this word has so many uh, like following, like we have here polysemy. The polysemy here, if we say head, refer to object of top of your body, top of glass of beer. If you say like top also of the company, when you say head, يعني معنى رئيس أو أعلى أو شيء يعني اللي هو أعلى الكأس. فهذا معنى اللي هو البولي يعني متعدد. 
So this is Bolozemi. Um, okay, let's move to the next part. We have wordplay. This is like not important. You can um, skip it. Skip page number 338. We have metonymy. So metonymy here. What do we mean by metonymy? These words like when we have bottle, water, can, juice, car, wheels, house, and roof. In this point, what's the, what's the point here? It means like it link. So metonymy, when you link one word to its own part like here we have king and crown we always remember if we have uh, seen some examples or movies if you look at the king the, the the typical king you will find the crown on his head when we have a president we remember like the white house maybe when we mention the word like can we also think about what about can of juice bottle bottle of water so you link it based on the word that first mentioned by the speaker and that's called metonymy collocation collocation two words come together and it gives another meaning if they are separate they will not give the same meaning like here chapter 10 you can check out the chapter 10 here we have a question try to look at this question it's very important to see them and recognize check out the semantic rules check out the semantic lexical meaning and think about the first point that we talk about lexical relationship and this example like here big small how to to, to think about antonyms types i hope that if you have any question in the future you can ask me i wish you all the best i think this is will be or this will be the last uh, video that I will make to you maybe later if I find time I will try to open what I will try to uh, to make a new video only for revision wish you all the best and happy fasting month thank you again